Okay, this is just a quick hit on uh, replacing RAM in a Dell Inspiron. This is an E1505. Uh, just got my RAM from <coughs> from Newegg. It takes uh, two gigs, so it's two one gig sticks, two gigs max. You know, it's my old junkyard uh, laptop, so I actually have a hard drive coming for it too. Newegg had a pretty good sale on it, so I'm gonna stick one of them in. Because even though it's only 1.8 uh, Pentium uh, core, single core. Um, it's actually dual core architect architecture. They just have the one core, but it's only one core processor. So we're going to stick that in real quick. Um, for those who don't know, of course, you can go to uh, crucial.com, www.crucial.com, and you can scan your, your computer, and it will tell you uh, how much RAM it'll take and the speed of the RAM and all that. Sometimes I feel bad because I use Crucial's tools, and then I buy my stuff from Newegg. So. But, okay, so here we go. First thing we got to do is... Of course, shut the, bat er, shut the laptop off. Um, you know, I'll just take the battery out for turds and giggles. Um, got that out. Your your RAM is located here. Get your little screwdriver. Of course, my micro driver, cobalt. Awesome. All, all the different little tips for it. Um, and then you try to get it in a little Phillips head screws there. Okay. So we got that. Got that. Okay. Take the cover off. Here's the RAM. Right there. Okay, two sticks. Two 512s. Okay. So now, once again, you just get these tabs back, like so. And your RAM will lift up. It's very simple. Simple as schnot. Okay, tab back. Tab back. RAM up. RAM out. Okay. Now I'll get my, my new RAM. Kingston, two one gig sticks, twenty four dollars free shipping. Can't beat it. Of course, it's that egg saver shipping, which sometimes really stinks because you can never know where your stuff is at. It's horrible with their with their tracking numbers and stuff. Oops, look at that. My RAM just fell right out. Okay, so I'll take my first stick. Make sure your little notch is lined up with your notch in your RAM holder thing. Oh, almost dropped it. Flip that over. Let's see here. Stick her in. Then you can just push it down. Or you can spread these apart with your fingers. Or you can spread it apart with your little tool. Get you in. Get you in. Okay. Boy, that just don't seem right, does it? Make sure I'm seated all the way, which I am. Okay. Get you down. You down. Bam. Okay, so there's one. Now two. Come on, you mother. Okay. Here we go. Stick this one in. Same thing. Line the slots up. Bam, bam. In. This first one just doesn't seem like it's seated all the way. There, now it's seated all the way. See, it wasn't seated all the way. Now it is. Okay, bam, bam. Now we're good. Okay. Stick the cover back on. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Get my screwdriver, which rolled on the floor, because when you live in a house, it's uh, on an angle. It's like the old Batman shows. Everything freaking falls all over the place, rolls around. We'll put magnets on everything. All right, now we'll stick the uh, battery back in. Check my battery. Good charge. All right. Now we'll fire this biatch up here. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it makes it go any better. The amount of system memory has changed. If you did not change, resolve this problem. Try restarting to try to reseat. If you did not change your memory, yeah, blah blah. I changed it. Okay. Strike F1 on the keyboard to continue. Okay. Look at that. It's, it's exciting as watching paint dry. Or grass grow. Do do do. We'll fast forward to this part. I had a, uh, old, 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 u
Holy cow. This is excruciating. Okay, system. Lingo blingo. System. Okay, here we go. Installed RAM. Two gigabytes. Okay, that's it. See ya!